Answer some questions about Interdell. I just saw a press release about the Interdell system. Okay, so did maybe. See Voice newspaper. Okay. I was wondering if you could. I just saw a press release about the Interdell system and a, a new um, uh, thing. Could you tell me something about how it works? Yeah, what we've done here is uh, we've uh, taken our lithium ion technology, uh, which is a very high power technology, um, and integrated it into uh, the vehicle. So in this case, it's a uh, Toyota Prius. And um, that includes our cell technology, uh, which is this lithium titanate, uh, lithium manganese oxide, and uh, which is a very high power. Uh, very lithium safe. titanate magnesium. Uh, no, it's lithium titanate on the uh, anode side. Uh -huh. Lithium uh, manganese, manganese. Ox oxide, or also popularly known as spinel on the cathode side. Spinel on the cathode side. Yes. Lithium oxygen ma manganese. Manganese oxide. Yeah. Manganese ox oxide, right? And it's a uh, it's a very high power system. Uh, so we can means we can discharge the battery uh, very uh, quickly and charge it very quickly, which is important for hybrid electric vehicles. Um, it's a very safe chemistry, so uh, including when you overcharge it and the nail penetrator, which simulates a, uh, a short circuit. What's the voltage? It's a 2.5 volt nominal voltage, so it's a slightly lower uh, voltage than the unprotected lithium, lithium right? Yeah, yeah. So 2.5, what's the discharge curve like? Is it flat or...? or? It's a sloping curve. What's uh, the top? Uh, it's from 2.9 to 1.6. Okay. Yeah. Is it, how does it operate below 1.6? Is, is there any danger below that? Or no, is in there... fact, uh, that's a very nice prompt by you because uh, we can actually discharge this below 1 volt and yes. uh, it will not have any damage to it. So we can actually assemble these uh, cells in bigger battery systems in a uh, discharge state or a low voltage state, uh, which makes it non-lethal, uh, which uh -huh. could be a very, uh, very important asset or uh, attribute of this technology. Could I see the uh, what the trunk looks like? Absolutely. Come back here. How many kilowatt hours do you get in here? Uh, in this uh, version here, we have 1.1 kilowatt hours. Uh huh. Um, so, uh, and uh, what we've done here is we took the nickel metal hydride battery out, and we've uh, put in our own lithium ion uh, technology in here. Right. Uh, we've used, you know, the normal uh, air ducting or ventilation, uh -huh. uh, as well as uh, uh, our own uh, battery electronics on the left-hand side. Um, now, this is the Gen uh, Gen 2 uh, Prius, right? This is the Gen 2 Prius, yes. And so it, it still the engine still goes on at 33 miles per yes, hour. Yes, that's correct. Yeah. So the new one supposedly they fixed the computer to go it goes up to 62 in electric only mode. Okay, I haven't heard that, but uh, I'll, I'll trust you. But they did. They, <laughs> it's over there. They doubled the uh, they doubled the the existing yeah, they nickel put, metal yeah, they hydride. Put, they, they put two nickel metal hydride batteries in there. That's correct. So they have uh, uh, 2.6 kilowatt hours. Yeah. Um, and how many kilowatt hours is in this, do you say? This is a 1.1 kilowatt hours. Only 1.1? 1.1, but what we have is we have um, twice the usable energy right. in here that we have access to versus the nickel metal hydride battery that's in there. Which what, goes between 50 which, and 80 percent, right, right, I understand. Uh, right, which, but, uh, which means we can use between 10 and 90 percent. Right. Um, and that means that, that transfer, of course, into a double, uh, at least twice the electric drive mode. Of course, I realize that uh, the restrictions are on 33 miles per hour speed limit, speed. But uh, if you drive it, uh, you know, at the lower speeds, it, it then you have twice the usable energy or twice the electric mode drive. What is the cycle like? <laughs> Um, uh, very good, um, and uh, we are. Uh, I, we showed a presentation earlier today where we had done uh, um, taken the cells and cycled them at uh, 55 degrees Celsius uh, and at 5C charge and 5C discharge. So you know, 12 minute uh, uh, charge and 12 minute discharge. So about a 30 minute cycle. Is that the plug in? 100% uh, uh, depth of discharge and. Um, we were getting uh, 3,000 cycles, so there's no capacity loss. Uh, of course, a hybrid lives in a different environment and there's more of the shallow cycles, um, but it shows the durability of the system. And, uh, you know, we will be spending the next uh, months and into 2008 further demonstrating the, the calendar life and the cycle life of the technology. Can this battery plug in? No, it's not a plug-in, it's a pure hybrid. It still remains as a pure hybrid. It just gets better miles per gallon, probably yes, sir, nine, yeah. 90 miles per gallon? Uh, we we do not know the exact numbers yet. We're going to take this vehicle from this uh, show and uh, bring it back to uh, uh -huh. Indiana and then do the DOT testing and we'll come out with those numbers uh, 